Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. On this channel, we try to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the SQL 50 Crack SQL Interview 50 Question series where we are trying to learn hands-on SQL using 50 carefully crafted questions covering diverse aspects of SQL. So we are already done with the select, basic joins, basic aggregate functions, sorting and grouping, as well as advanced select and joins. We are currently working on subqueries and then we'll be moving to advanced string functions, regexs and clauses. In this video, we are going to solve this question on investments in 2016 and try to learn from it. So yeah, let's jump right in. So this is the 42nd video of this series called investments in 2016. And if I look at the companies, this question has been asked in. So Twitter, kind of an important question. Let's look at what the question has to say. We are given a table called insurance with five different columns, PID, TIV underscore 2015, TIV underscore 2016, lat and long. PID is the primary key that is column with unique values for this table. Each row of this table contains information about one policy where PID is the policy holder's policy ID. TIV 2015 is the total investment value in 2015 and TIV 2016 is the total investment value in 2016. LAT is the latitude of the policy holder's city. It is guaranteed that LAT is not null. LON is the longitude of the policy holder's city. It's guaranteed that LON is not null. Okay, we are asked to write a solution to report the sum of all total investment values in 2016. That is TIV underscore 2016 for all policy holders who satisfies these two conditions firstly have the same tiv 2015 value as one or more other policy holders and are not located in the same city as any other policy holder that is the latitude longitude combination should be unique round the total investment in 2016 to two decimal places okay let's go through this example and see what they want to say here so here we have an insurance table with four different policy holders what they are saying is firstly we need to check that in 2015 policy holders value of investment should be same as one or more others so for example policy holder one has a total investment of 10 whatever the unit unit may be so 10 but policy holder 3 and 4 also had 10 so the only rows to consider just by going by the first condition is row number 1 3 and 4 2 why not because they have an investment of 20 but 20 units is not an investment of any other policy holder in 2015 so that is the first one second should be that they should not be located in the same city as any other policy holder so if you look at it so 10 10 is a unique value for policy holder id1 no no other policy holder has the same latitude longitude we just saw that policy holder 3 and 4 also satisfies condition 1 but if you will look at for policy holder 3 the latitude longitude is same as another person and therefore it is not unique so the only two rows that satisfy both the conditions are policy holder 1 where the investment value in 2015 is equal to more one or more other people as well as well as their latitude longitude combinations are unique so for these kind of people so policy holder 1 and 4 the total investments in 2016 is 5 plus 40 that is 45 and that is what we have in our output so basically this is a case of using filtering by sub queries so what we need to do is from this table called insurance right we need to keep only those rows firstly where the investments that is tiv underscore 2015 so tiv underscore 2015 should be in and then what we can do is from this table insurance table if we group by this and count the number of rows and have only those rows where the count is greater than one what does that mean so for example if you group by this right so for 10 it will be having three count for 20 it is only going to have one count that means 10 was for more than one people in 2015 so therefore only those rows should be kept so what i am saying is from this table called insurance th this is a subquery that we are writing if i group by the investments in 2015 and keep only those rows where having so since we are filtering based on aggregate value we need to use having having count of policy holder ids so number of people who have that kind of investment is greater than one then for the, these rows only return the tiv underscore 2015 so it is only so let me just you know do select star here and let's try to see what do we get in our output so we should only be left with policyholder id 1 3 
so row number one, three, and four. Let's look at if we are left with that in our output. So you see one, three, and four. This is only condition one that is being satisfied. Condition two is the combination of latitude longitude should not be same as any other people as well. So and what we need to do is and the combination. This this is what we learned that you can use a combinations as well directly in the where clause. So combination of lat long column in it should be unique. So here again same stuff you can do but this time you can do by latitude and longitude. So from this column called insurance if we group by group by latitude and then longitude and have only those rows so having count of PID is equal to one that means only one person had that latitude longitude combination which means it is unique so have that and then from them you return the combination of latitude and longitude let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we are left with okay now if we look at in our output so we are only left with two rows which satisfies both the condition investment same in 2015 and latitude longitude combination is different so for them what do we need we need to sum the tiv underscore 2016 that is investments in 2016 so we sum tiv underscore 2016 now this should be rounded to two decimal places as well so round this entire thing to two decimal places and this should be aliased as tiv 26 so as TIV underscore 2016. Okay, I think this looks good. Let me go ahead and uh, let me just, you know, so that it's easily visible for us. Uh, okay, so this is the entire code that we have. Let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what do we get in our output. So, okay, this is accepted. Let me just drag it above. Okay, and if we look at our output is same as expected output. Let me go ahead and submit it so it pass all the test cases. So yeah, this is accepted and this is how we do it. So not a very difficult question, but yes, here in this question, we had to use two sub queries to solve this. Firstly, to satisfy condition number one that have the same investments in 2015 value as one or more other policy holders and are not located in the same city. So two different sub queries to solve. And then once we had the desired rows that we wanted in our output, then we just simply perform the investments in 2016 sum rounded to two decimal places and alias as whatever was required in our output. So yeah, this is how we do it. Let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below and I will see you guys in the next video.